Hi friends, it's Nirmal back again with a new video. Today's video we are going to discuss about uh, the moss tray garden we did previously and an update on this. Also, I'll show you guys something new that I've been working with moss. So stay tuned. So friends, uh, if you are a long term subscriber, you might know that I did this project almost a year back. Uh, to be specific, last monsoon season, we set up this moss tray garden. And today's video, we'll look at the progress and how it has been surviving. I used to water it on a regular basis. I initially kept it in a little bit higher sun so some of the moss desiccated and I had to replant some of it. So my advice is to always keep it in an eastern exposure. One thing I noticed was that the medium keeps on getting dry very fast because it's very shallow and short. So what I have done in my latest moss related project is to give it a self watering pot. So if you are interested to check out how I made this particular one, uh, there is a video in my channel and I will leave a link in the notification. So just check it out over there. So if you love plants just like me and you enjoy my videos, uh, do consider subscribing to the channel. Also press the bell notification button and select the all option so that you'll get all the new notifications from my channel. So guys, this is my latest moss related project that I did as a gift for one of my special friend for his birthday. So I thought I'll show you guys before I gift him. So if you guys were wondering that is supposed to be a cat's figure, my friend is a cat lover so I thought that I'll make a small figurine of cat using M seal. I have used M seal to make it and then I painted it with white enamel paint so that it will be waterproof. Guys don't forget to check out my Instagram page nandanam underscore exotics where I post regularly regarding updates from the garden as well as uh, you can contact me there for further inquiry regarding plants I showcase in the channel. So the first and foremost factor that you should keep in mind while growing moss is to always maintain moisture. If you are doing this inside a terrarium, it's much more easier to maintain humidity and moisture. But when you plant it in a flat tray like this, it's easy to dry out. That's the reason why I have given a reservoir with a wick to maintain the moisture in the medium. So all I did was I just ran a linen thread through the drainage hole of the pot and one end of it will provide the moisture by wicking it from the reservoir. Refill the reservoir from time to time as you notice that the water level goes down. Also don't forget to mist or spray your moss from the top as well to maintain a very lush and healthy growth. So guys, that's all for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more content like this. Also, share it with like-minded people. Until next week, stay tuned and it's Nirmal signing off.